Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Stouffer's Pub Classics. This one is the Barbecue Recipe Burger with Bacon. It looks really good. It looks like a burger with bacon and like a mashed potatoes. It is roasted patty made with hamburger covered in a sweet barbecue sauce and bacon with garlic and chive mashed potatoes. That's what it looked like. Um, made with a fourth pound beef patty. The whole thing is um, 12 and a half ounces or 354 grams. So we bought this at Meyer. It was only $3, which is not, not too bad at all, I don't think. Um, 390 calories feed the whole thing. And there's the other info, just in case you want to calculate anything else. So, um, let's see, I'm seeing if it has oven directions. It says microwave oven only. So we're going to move the tray from the box, slit film for one inch over a burger, uh, cook for four minutes on high, remove the film, flip burger and spoon sauce on top, stir potatoes and recover, and then cook for another four minutes and let it sit for a minute. So four minutes, put the sauce on the burger, flip the burger, put the sauce on the burger and stir the potatoes in another four minutes. So, um... Not a quick cook time. No pull tab, but pretty easy to get into. So there's your typical two divided um, tray. So I want to cut a slit over this. I usually just take a fork and poke a hole in it and slide it and it, it does fine. But anyway, I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, right, so here it is out of the microwave and I'm gonna stir these potatoes up really good. Probably could have taken them out now that I'm feeling them. They feel a little dry. Maybe they're not, they feel a little pasty. They were much softer um, the first time I stirred them up. So I'm worried about those being a little um, a little thickened. But the, the sauce on the, the burger really did work out well. You see it's spread it out on there. I like the little um, darker bits, the little, I don't, I don't want to call them scorched, but the little darker brown bits. I like those. So I'm going, let me cut this in half. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, your typical hamburger patty is what it looks like. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. Not super long, but let it cool off for a minute. I'll be back. All right, I cut it up into smaller pieces, and that's pretty much about it. I didn't let it sit for a long period of time to let it cool off. I did let it sit a minute before I started recording to let you see what it looked like, um, like they said. But beyond that, I haven't done anything else. So here we go. I'll try the meat first. The textures are really good. It tastes like a, a hamburger patty. You would literally patty out yourself and take out on the grill. It has a little bit of that. Um, have you ever had a frozen dinner that was the Salisbury steak? Just the meat itself from the Salisbury steak. It has a little bit of that Salisbury steak kind of meat tech, uh, flavor. The texture is more like a hamburger though. It's looser than a Salisbury steak. Because Salisbury steak is usually thin but they're really densely packed this is a little looser like a hamburger but the meat they use has a very similar flavor to the salisbury steak hopefully that makes sense um the sauce itself though is really good it's got this sweet slightly smoky barbecue flavor what i'm not getting is really the bacon at all I mean, the whole point is to have bacon. I'm not really getting the bacon flavor. It's mostly a hamburger patty with barbecue sauce. That's what I'm tasting. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's still very, very good. But um, I don't get bacon. I don't get the smokiness of the bacon. I don't get the bacon flavor. Um, yeah, it's missing the bacon. Potatoes. They are a little thick. Um, if you had um, some, you probably wouldn't have this at work, but if you're at home eating it, um, if you had a little bit of sour cream, put just a little bit of sour cream in there, mix it up, that would really elevate the flavors and thin it out a little bit. I mean, I've had much thicker pastry, your pastier, drier potatoes than these. These aren't that bad. They're, um, they're definitely edible, but they are a little, uh, just a little thicker. Um, then I would prefer them to be. Flavor-wise, mostly garlic. So you get a lot of the garlic flavor and the um, the potato flavor. It's almost all garlic, though. Um, the, the potatoes are okay. Like I said, a little bit of butter, or a little bit of sour cream, one of those two, mix them up. I think it would help a lot with those. Um, I wish the chives came through a little bit more, but the, the garlic's good. It's just pretty strong. Um, so they're good. 
the hamburger patty itself, the, the burger patty, uh, I really do like the flavor and texture of that and the barbecue sauce. Wish it did have a little bit more of the bacon flavor. So overall, <clears throat> for 300 and, 390 calories, I think you're getting a lot of food for your money. Three bucks is not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do like the flavors of the burger patty. Um, yeah, the only really, the, the, the two fall downs for here is the bacon flavor is really not very strong and the um, the potatoes are a little thick. But beyond that, it's, it's a really good meal. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Definitely worth trying out if you see it in your local store. I'm, like I said, I bought it at Meijer, but I'm sure they'll have it other places. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.